Hey lovelies, it's Kate. Welcome back to another speed build. It's time for a whimsical cottage on a 20 by 20 lot in Windenburg. So a while ago I built a 20 by 15 build. You guys really enjoyed it. And after that I said that I now feel much more confident to work on smaller lots as well. Because I have a tendency to only work on 64 by 64 and 50 by 50 lots. And I wanted to to stay true to this statement. So here we are with another 20 by 20. I kind of got hooked on building in Desert Valley again. I'm not gonna lie, so it was fun to work on this build. At first I wanted to work on a super autumnal build, but it just wasn't working. And then I decided to work on this. My vision was to use lots of white, so it looks really dreamy. I really enjoy to use these white doors and windows and columns and all that. So this was kind of the idea. I also included a glass roof because I wanted this to look a bit more extra special. The build is quite small. The shape is relatively simple. So for me, it was all about the glass roof and the details. As you will see, I used a regular bush that is supposed to be placed on the terrain to create some type of custom vine. And this was a lot of fun and it definitely made the build look more dreamy. So this is kind of what makes this build special in my eyes. Just the vines and maybe the glass roof. And also just the landscaping and here I'm using some tool magic. I used a shelf and here at this point I simply sized up the shelf and I raised it up so you don't need tool for this. But I still decided to use tool to bring it into the correct position because I really love the gravity pull feature. But you don't have to do this. It's just much more convenient in my eyes and I really enjoy doing this. But later on I also rotated some shelves so I was able to have a vertical shelf and I just just created some type of patio, some type of area to hang out. And I was afraid to add too much to this build. Like on the left side, I added another area and I just didn't want this to be too, too busy. I just didn't want to, to add too much because after all, it's a 20 by 20 build. And once again, we probably all agree that I somehow managed to make this look much bigger than 20 by 20. I don't know, but I'm super hyped about autumn, which is why I try to work on a autumnal build and I will definitely do this. But but I kind of had a similar idea for a autumnal build, like this kind of really whimsical, cozy, beautiful feel, but it just wasn't working out with, with the color palette that I chose. So I don't know, it just wasn't working out. And here I built something that later turned out to be a problem. You can see here that I used a round foundation piece and I added some stairs to, to this. And as you can see, as soon as I added a fence, the stairs disappeared but I was able to add them back and it was all working fine and I was even able to eventually add a railing and a fence and it was working perfectly fine but then later on at some point I, I just changed something I don't know I added a wall or I just made a change to the build and then my stairs just disappeared and then I just wanted to add them back because as you can see here it clearly works. It should be possible to add the stairs to this rounded foundation the way I did because it's working here. But then I just couldn't add them back. It wouldn't let me. The game would let me add them back no matter what I tried so eventually I made them a tiny bit bigger so it was working. I don't know if this is a glitch or maybe it's a glitch that I'm able to add the stairs in the first place. Let me know in the comments down below if you've encountered the same bug. I don't know. There's no word of advice here. <laughs> I'm just telling you what happened because I eventually indeed had to size up this rounded foundation piece. As always, I used the one with the fence attached to it. I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> so many bugs. And here you can see how I'm using this plan to just create a vine. And I just raised them up. You you can lower and raise objects. You just have to press 9 and 0 on your keyboard and always make sure to press control on your keyboard because otherwise your, your camera is going to jump all over the place. <laughs> and some people are wondering about this, but the reason for that is that there is a cinematic camera in the game and not everyone knows about this or likes to use it. You really only need this if you want to record a video probably. So in the beginning of the video, for example, I'm kind of panning the camera and everyone who's creating Sims builds does this basically. And this is the cinematic camera. You can just press 
five for example and then you have a starting point and then when you press six it's just panning to the next point and this is how you can create these cinematics and this is also the reason why the camera is jumping all over the place when you sometimes press any key and then yeah you always have to press control and then this shouldn't happen and for the color scheme, as I said, lots of whites. I added a wood floor to, to the exterior. I just wanted this to look really warm and inviting. And I didn't use lots of colors, just my vines, like the little bush that I used. And also a word of advice here, if you add plants to create some type of custom vine like this, always make sure to add your bush to the correct level. And this also goes for any other object that you could place in the exterior to just decorate the exterior like this. Because when you go to the bottom floor for example otherwise all the vines or all the bushes are going to float even though though they are supposed to be placed on the top floor for example and if you place your vines on the correct floor so the vines at the top are placed on the top floor then when you take a look at the bottom floor for example they disappear as they should this is something to keep in mind because it's just something that you can easily miss and something that you don't really think about a lot but I mean form follows function you want a build to be fun to play in and all that and otherwise it can be quite annoying I also usually only add an excessive amount of stuff like this to one side of the build because when someone feels super annoyed by this they can always pan the camera around and take a look into the inside from the other side so this is something to keep in mind because it looks great but it also has to work and this in general isn't the most minimalistic house this isn't like a really basic house that is probably the most perfect thing to play in but you still have to keep in mind where you place all your objects and how you place them and stuff so always make sure to place your exterior decorations on the correct level you don't have to pay attention if you place stuff like a like a wall lamp or stuff or, or an actual vine that is supposed to be used as a vine. This stuff is going to disappear when you put the walls down and stuff. So this doesn't matter at all. But for stuff like this, if you want to be a bit more creative and fancy with your exterior decorations, it's definitely something to keep in mind. Also, you may have noticed how super vibrant the lavender is and this is because here it's autumn and I totally forgot to switch back to summer this is why at some point the colors change a bit because as I said I was planning to work on a autumnal bird and I totally for forgot to just switch back to summer I use a mod for this because I'm always super annoyed with this weather machine that came with seasons I I don't know so many sims died <laughs> because of this because before I used cheats for this for changing the weather and the season stuff like this I always used this weather machine and it was horrible like I had a huge sim family and I lost half of them or something and this was like really really annoying so I can totally recommend if you work on builds like this always or like if you are working on builds in general for if you record and stuff I can totally recommend to get these mods and also in general even if you don't record it's just much much better if you just want to switch the seasons and if you want to work on a specific build amazing I personally use MC Command Center for this and also UI Cheats extension. I think you don't even need MC Command Center for this. I always used it to change the weather and the seasons and then I decided on and the time of the day but then I decided to use UI Cheats extension because it's much easier to change the time. You only have to click at the clock at the bottom and then I also discovered that you can indeed use it to change the season and the weather and all that so now I only use this but MC command center in general is a great mod for all kinds of different things I can just totally recommend it I use it for example to enable all the cheats that I use by default so they are all activated by MC command center and this way when I load up my game all my building cheats are activated and I don't have to to type them out which is amazing so I can just totally recommend that 
So even if you want to have a unmodded game, if you don't want to have any mods that actually alter the game, these are just cheats that kind of operate in the background. If you want to have a quick change, if you just want to, to work on a build and you want to change the daytime for some reason in lift mode, or if you want to change the season, stuff like this, then this is just super amazing. Or if you just want to enable all the cheats by, by default, you can make lots of changes. I can just totally recommend this. Also, there is going to be a Discord Decides My Build video soon and the poll is now live. You can check out the community Discord. I know that some of you have already voted and I just can't wait to see if you will ruin my day or make my day. I don't know. I will just... I think that a lot of you are probably going to, to vote on a 20 by 50. But as you can see here, 20 by 20, I got this. No, I'm just joking. I'm just curious to see what you guys want me to build i really love this i love that you can just decide what i build and i'm just so excited to see what you want me to build and want to build the stuff that you guys want to see and this is going to be so much fun so thank you to anyone who's already voted and i'm going to link the community discord down below so in case you want to join if you haven't joined yet you can do that and of course there's much more than just a poll you can also just have a chat with us and hang out and share your builds and sims and stuff but i just wanted to say that now is the time to vote for the discord decides my build video and this is going to be so much fun and also there are some news we are going to get a base game update on october 6 and then the same update is going to come out on console in early november and this update is going to introduce 100 new skin tones and this was promised a month ago or maybe two months ago when more and more simmers were demanding a update for the skin tones and they promised that they would take care of this until fall or in early fall and this is exactly what's happening now so the update is going to come out soon there will be 100 new skin tones and also a slider and this is amazing i think it's great that they also included a slider and i just can't wait for this update and I hope that a lot of simmers will feel very happy and much more represented. It's not my place to say if this is like enough, if it's really good. First of all, the update has to come out first and even then it's just not my place and we will just see if everyone just feels represented now and we will just see what's going to happen when the patch comes out and I'm just really excited because it, it sounds promising to me and I just hope that everyone will be very happy and feel very represented and I'm just so glad that they took finally care of this. It took lo a long time that's true but at least now they just make it right and we will see what's going to happen and yeah just so you know the update is coming very soon but back to the build here i'm working on the bathroom so there is only one bathroom and only one bedroom so it's like the granny cottage that i built it's not a family home. Technically you could of course build a full blown family home on a 20 by 20 lot because there's enough space. But because of all the landscaping and the way I built this, there just wasn't enough space, especially the area at the top is relatively small it's much more spacious at the bottom so this is a really unique and kind of different build but i hope that you guys still enjoy it and for the interior i also try to just have a really cozy interior it still has some kind of modern vibes i didn't want this to be super rustic and i placed the dining table right in the kitchen which i really like and i rarely do this because i'm always working on these huge mansions and usually i simply have a just a designated dining area like a full-blown dining room really luxurious and then i sometimes also add a just a separate table to the kitchen to have a breakfast area but never like right in between the island counter and just in front of the counters i never really do this and it felt a bit weird to do this to be honest and i placed some plants in front of the windows i wanted this to be really cozy i added lots of doors to this so your sims could actually enter the garden or the patio in the back there's not really a proper garden but a patio as you saw and then also the area in the front this is why it was really tricky to just furnish this to be honest i used all the walls to just place the fridge and just different things and i actually had to use a half wall to have a place to add a tv to this and i used 
use the tiny living one because it's a combination of just everything but i still added a separate stereo and stuff because i mean it's not super small this is not a tiny home at all and technically you could just include anything a sim needs in a really really tiny build this isn't tiny but i mean you guys just know me and i was struggling you just know it but it was still fun to furnish this i enjoy this because it's challenging and at the same time you can really focus on the details and I built like this I really like this and here you can see this is the bedroom I placed this double bed and as you can already see there isn't much space left so I could add a kids room or something just this bed so it's maybe a perfect home for just two sims maybe a couple that could move in here maybe something like this before the kids arrive or, or something i don't know it all depends on your sims and what kind of story you are playing so so this is only like a a house for one or two sims probably and i included just the desk and the computer in the hallway because it has it just had this weird shape and i just had to place the computer somewhere and this is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this build and this video. And don't forget to check out the Discord in case you want to join in general or if you want to participate in the poll for the Discord decides my build video. So I'm going to leave the link down below in the description box. And in the description box, you can also find all the information about this build. So you can find it in the gallery, CC free, unmodded, fully furnished and all that. You guys just know it. So so I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I see you in the next video. Bye bye.